We'll be doing the bank game with a three-digit multiplier, and the multiple hand is 6,784. I'm going to compose the multiplier so you can see what goes into having a three-digit multiplier. For my multiplier, I'll use 432. So 432 has two as the units place of the multiplier. Thirty as the tens place of the multiplier. So for the hundreds place of my multiplier, which is four hundred, I need two zeros, and the bank game has a special card, a special gray card, with two zeros, which help us create a hundreds place, and four hundred as the hundreds place of the multiplier. And I'll move that up here for the moment. And this is what the problem looks like before it's decomposed. 6,784 taken 432 times. When I do this multiplication, remember, I'm going to expand or decompose the multiplicand and I'm going to decompose the multiplier as well. And then only work with one part of the multiplier at a time, starting with the units place. So when I'm finished with multiplying everything by the units place and getting the product from the bank. Remember, just as before, the next part of the multiplier is the tens place. And applying the law of invariance, I'll move the zero down to each part of the multiple hand as I multiply by one digit from the tens place of the multiplier. When I get to the hundreds place of the multiplier, applying the law of invariance, I'm going to move the two zeros from the multiplier side of the equation to the multiple can side. So here, instead of multiplying by 400, I'm multiplying by 4 with two zeros, which will move down as I multiply each digit of the multiple hand. And once again, getting the values I need from the bank 